Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dre. People love stories, and there are a lot of possibilities in how you can tell a story using virtual reality. And if I had a bet, I'd say that most people probably get their first taste of VR by watching a 360 VR video. Today, VR videos are becoming much more common thanks to cheaper 360 cameras and VR headsets like the Oculus Go. The hard part? Finding the best Oculus Go apps to discover and watch high quality VR videos. So in this video, I'll be showing you my favorite Oculus Go video apps to find and watch the best free VR videos. I'll break down why I like these apps and what types of videos you can expect that you'll be able to watch on them. Want more recommendations? Well, make sure to check out our other videos. And while you're down there, make sure to hit subscribe for more Oculus Go videos just like this one. All right, let's go. Within stands out for being one of the original VR video apps with different documentaries, music videos, and much more. You can stream or download VR videos from different brands like the New York Times, Vice, NBC, and much more. There is a range of videos, and the quality of storytelling is really great. The quality of playback was a downside, though. Within scales the content down, even if you download the videos, which didn't really make sense to me because I've actually seen a few of these videos on other apps in much, much better quality. It's not a deal breaker. And if anything, you can save space on your Oculus by streaming the videos instead of downloading them. Either way, Within is still great to check out for immersive videos from one of the original VR video apps. Veer VR is the closest thing that I've found to a VR YouTube out of all of these apps in today's video. Veer is a platform that lets creators upload their own content and premium videos from major brands. The reason why I really like this app is the amount of unique content that I wasn't able to find in other apps. And because a lot of this content is from creators, the quality of recordings will vary from channel to channel. Either way, you can download the videos in full quality or stream up to 4K if the video lets you. Now, seeing VR first platforms like this is pretty exciting, especially because Facebook's beef with Google means we might not see a YouTube app on the Oculus for a while. And until that's settled, I'd recommend checking out VR VR to see organic content from VR creators today. Inception VR made this list for having a great range of exclusive content. You'll find music videos, short films, and even travel documentaries from brands you might or might not recognize. The company that made this app helps businesses create VR content too. So along with content from the Associated Press or Refinery29, there are exclusive VR videos that they made or sponsored. Downside, playback quality is a little bit on the lower side too. And there is no download option either. But like I said, they have some exclusive content on here that is pretty cool. They even sponsored a VR film festival recently, which I thought was pretty unique and different, which makes Inception VR a good app to check out today, which will probably continue to get better because of their exclusive content. Samsung Videos VR was originally released to be the go-to video app for the Gear VR. Now this app has a lot of content to watch from a lot of different places and varieties. You'll recognize a lot of the brands and can watch videos from a lot of different creators too, who can upload videos to their own channels. Now, like I said, there are a lot of videos on here. I searched horror and found a hundred results alone. The quality of videos will vary again, but I did find some really high quality experiences. You can download videos too, which is great for traveling. But what I really liked was that you can use this app to watch your own videos too. This was a huge plus because you can watch your own videos, Oculus Go screen recordings, and even connect to any media server on your Wi-Fi network. 
Samsung Videos VR has a lot to like, and I would highly recommend checking it out. Facebook 360 brings your newsfeed to the Oculus Go. You can discover 360 videos, photos, Facebook shows, live streams, and even normal videos from across Facebook. And, of course, all of the comments, likes, and social media-ness is there too. There's a separate Facebook Videos app, but I prefer this one by far. With this app, you get the benefit of being able to see any video on Facebook, including your own pictures or videos. Finally, you can stop checking Facebook every two seconds and instead go into the newsfeed for as long as you want. So Facebook, if you're listening, forget about the other Facebook Videos app and instead double down on this one. Oculus Video is the official VR video app from Oculus, where you can find free 360 videos and even rent or buy real movies. To be honest, there isn't a lot of content here that is unique to the app. Most of the videos that you'll find here, you'll also be able to find in Samsung Videos VR or Facebook 360. Buying or renting movies is really the only unique feature. And even then, it's a 2D video that you watch in a virtual theater. You can rent 3D movies, but I didn't test that because... Because honestly, I didn't really want to waste money on the newest 3D Texas Chainsaw Massacre. All in all, you can skip Oculus videos. The cooler VR video content is in Oculus venues anyways, but that's for a whole separate video. The last app in this video is Visbit AK VR. I've mentioned quality a lot in this video. Quality really makes or breaks VR videos because the higher the quality, the easier it is to sit in VR and watch. A few things impact quality, cameras and how it's uploaded, for example. But one of the things that we haven't talked about is the streaming technology that powers the app. I'll save a lot of this topic for another video, but just know that streaming 4K plus content is actually a really hard thing to do. So when I discovered Visbit AKVR video, I was pretty excited. They claim to be the first player that can stream or download AK VR videos, which is pretty huge. And while the app itself doesn't have a lot of content right now, the quality definitely stands on its own and made me think about all of the VR live stream possibilities when this starts becoming mainstream. After all, we have to remember that this VR video content is in its super early stages. The promise of VR is being able to experience anything, anywhere. And Visbit's AK VR video makes me really optimistic about that promise. And that does it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. And make sure to check out my other videos, including the best apps to stream your own movies or how to watch videos with friends while hanging out in VR. Links to those videos and the apps that I talked about are down in the description. Once again, I'm Dre, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.